Hello, my name is Nathan Weiss. I am currently a junior at South Salmon County High School. Um, I was born in Waterloo, uh, June 1st, 1999, and now I'm going to tell you a little bit about myself. Uh, my family, my mom's name is Tammy Weiss, um, my dad's name is Ed Weiss, and I have a sister named Haley Weiss who attends the Iowa State University. She has been attending there for two years, but since she was ahead in high school of her college classes, she is a junior this year. Uh, my dad is a supervisor at Kinsey. He's been working there for about 20 years. And my mom is a li librarian's assistant at the South Tampa County High School. That's pretty cool, I guess, here every day. Um, now I'm going to talk a little bit about my sports. Um, I'm a football player. I'm a wrestler. I love soccer, even though I don't participate in it. And I did cross country, and we have a really good lifting program here. Um, we have 6 o'clock during the summer. We can go at 6 o'clock, 9 o'clock, and 5.30. Um, we have a really good lifting coach. His name is Nathan Van Dyke. Um, he pushes us really hard. Everybody really pushes each, pushes each other. And that's about how that goes. Um, football, I'm the kicker. Um, I'm currently 17, 14 for 14. And one for one for field goals. I'm number two in the district for 2A. That's pretty exciting. Everybody, the team's really hyped up for me. Hopefully I can get that number one spot, but you never know. Um, I play golf. It's been a really tough sport. I've never played it before besides last year. Um, kind of jumping into it right away, it's really not the way you should go. You should kind of move around with it. Um, a really big supporter in that, his name was Clayton Rosenberger. He was over here. And Alec Hill. Now Alec Hill has graduated recently, so I don't really get to see him as much. But um, we really went out about every single day in the summer and then he just worked with me and trying to get a better swing, trying to help me out, trying to teach me how the wind goes with the ball and all that other fun stuff. Um, for soccer, um, it's really been a part of my life for a long time. When I was a kid, I played on soccer and we, my, my cousin and I played soccer and we were just having a blast. I was the goalie. Um, then one day, one game, I got like kicked in the face and I wasn't really happy about that so I just quit. I was pretty upset. You know when you're looking you cry all the time and just that was me. <laughs> um, for cross country I did that last year. Um, due to my injury for football freshman year I collapsed my lung and bruised ribs. Um, that kind of really made me think that football really wasn't my sport. Maybe God was saying hey that's not for you but I guess it is now. Maybe it changed his mind. But for cross country it really taught me about myself. Um, really pushed me to my limits. It was pretty exciting when you get a new time and you just place what you want to place. It's kind of interesting when your team depends on you to get that place. Um, we were at Williamsburg, Montezuma, Montezuma, and we had a number one runner, Blake Keller, who ran really, really good guy. He's a really good runner. Hunter Flynn, um, our other teammates, not really think about him right now. But it was all up to me. Um, I was the fifth runner on varsity. My first year going out, pretty, pretty hyped up about that. But if I didn't place in the top 30 and under, we wouldn't have won that meet. I got 25th, and that was really exciting. The whole team was kind of like, hey, you're number one tonight. You're MVP. Now it just made me feel really good. Um, for football, going back to football, um, Adrian Castanon was our pass kicker. He kicks out Coke College right now. and. Adrian's been a massive part of my life. Um, we go out about every single day. He comes to my practices, helps me kick. Um, I went to his game recently at Coe College, and I got his autograph, trying to make him feel like he's a big shot. Um, but him and I, we, I call him about every night and tell him like how I'm doing, how he's doing, work about our classes, talking about really everything that's going on in our lives. And he's just been really, really big in my life. I'm going to talk about hunting. I have this hunting shirt on. It's a deer rack. And talk about fishing a little bit. But my dad really got me into that. Um, it was eighth grade year. I wasn't really sure. You know, you're about to be a freshman. You're not sure, like, what kind of clique you're going to be in. And I really, really wasn't sure. So my dad was like, hey, I want you to go hunting with me one day. And I went hunting with him, and it just changed my life forever. I mean, there's nothing else that you can feel besides sitting there. At like five, getting up at like four o'clock in the morning, and you're just like, I'm dead. I don't, I don't want to do anything. But once you get up and you get going, you're like really hyped about the day. You're just so your anxiety's going on. And when you see 
any animal that you're hunting, your your mind just is out of this world. I mean, you're just like, wow, is that really going on right now? I mean, sometimes your mind plays tricks on you too. Well, that's just how it goes. Um, my freshman year was the first time that I actually have killed a deer. Um, it was a doe. It wasn't like no crazy 170 inch deer, and that's that's like what you want to build up to. I was kind of excited that I shot something that wasn't like that so then I could build up to that and for fishing uh, fishing has been a really big thing in my life too um, I recently bought a fishing pole and I've been out a lot it's called uh, Ugly Stick GX2 it's one of the really big brands Ugly Sticks do not break that's what they're said to say and I go out with my friends all the time with my dad I really like it with my dad more though because you know, it's just you and your dad, you're out there, you get have a lot of family talk and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you this. It's my motocross helmet. I ride dirt bikes. I ride an RM125, which is a Suzuki. And it's been a really big thing for me. Pass that around. The helmet, that's basically your main thing. You don't really have to wear all the sweet, cool gear. It's just your helmet. That's what you need the most. It really protects your head. You can buy cheap helmets that they sell for like 80 bucks, but you really need a helmet that's really going to protect you. And for motocross, there's a place about 20 miles from here, it's called Oak Ridge. I like to go out there all the time, every single time they have a race. Uh, my goals, I want to be a number one kicker in the district. I want to play professional football as a kicker. I want to be a college kicker. And that concludes my presentation.